there's a lot of finesse you can use. So there's the the um, the slider for making highlights um, disappear, and there's the slider like what I'm doing here. I'm making all the highlights in the image disappear, and you press Alt to drag that little slider, the little arrow thing. It'll actually split that arrow in two. So it creates a soft selection. It creates a soft um, clip. So um, when you need something to blend, this is a technique that you guys should really use because uh, you can. I I find myself not able to do matte paintings without this little little trick. Double click on your layers, anything, any photos you you bring in, even your painting files, um, and try those sliders out on the bottom of that window. You know. And uh, it, it'll clip out all the, the highlights if you drag from the right, and it'll clip out all the shadows if you drag from the left. And when you hold down Alt key and you drag those arrows, it will create a soft clip. So it's kind of blending it in, you know. So here I'm using the, the Curves tool to try to make this new layer help me somehow. So I'm, I put it on overlay. Now it's a kind of a color wash, so it's making things a little bit more saturated. And I'm uh, creating a. Uh, a layer uh, alpha channel on the layer so I'm clipping in a lot of the parts with the soft brush all I'm doing is I'm painting in uh, black now you see I'm clipping out on the left side again underlaying layer is just say, just saying if you drag from the left it means the shadow layer the darker layers underneath the image will show through and you drop from the right then the bright parts the whites of the image that's underneath this image will show through Again, you can use Alt key to drag from the arrow to create a, a soft selection. So already, this is adding a lot more detail than um, before, and all I did was two images. So you see, there's a lot of tricks, a lot of uh, techniques you can use to speed up your painting process. And uh, you know, for this case, sci-fi images, um, metal structures, these things are really easy to to play around with. And I locked it on, uh, I think I lock, locked it on transparency, or I, actually I'm using a color layer on top. And I clipped it onto this layer. When you hold down Control uh, alt g I believe, it will uh, create a layer clipping mask. So your top layer is actually clipped on the, the, on the bottom layer. All you're painting in is only going to affect this layer. So that's a little neat little layer trick that you can use.